What's up losers, it's finals week and I'm about to teach you how to get through it. Hey guys, it's Alessandra and it's the end of the year which is absolutely wonderful. Thank God this school year is over. But that also means that we have to survive finals, which um, honestly I probably won't make it out alive. But I'm gonna try my best to teach you how to do well on your finals or at least, you know, get through them without failing the class. So my first tip would definitely be note cards, which are awesome to study with and are definitely going to help you a lot, unless of course you're in AP World History, in which case they don't do anything, so there's no point. Honestly, I just took that exam and I failed, so, you know. I feel like AP classes though, it's a lot harder to do well in the exams because you don't have a study guide. You just have to read the book and know what they're going to ask you, but you never do because there's just so much information and so much you need to know, and ugh, I just want to pass. But normally, in your core classes or whatever, like your classes for school, like algebra, chemistry, all that stuff, your teachers might post a study guide. And if they do, that would be really helpful and I'd really recommend using that because that's probably what's gonna be on the test. Most finals, at least at my school, are written by the teachers. So the study guide is legit what's gonna be on the test. My teachers also often hand out worksheets and stuff, which are really helpful because it's like, these are the equations that the equations on the exam are gonna be based off of. So it's like, yeah. And another thing that you really need to do is be organized, which I cannot stress enough because I am not organized at all. Pan of my room, yeah, it's a mess. And my life's even messier than that, so. I really recommend being organized and like going over your notes in class, highlighting stuff, going through the book, actually going to school, which I shouldn't be telling you because I mean, here I am on a Friday at home at like 10 in the morning. But that's a different story. I missed my bus. I am. I am. Never mind. Another great thing to do would be have like a study group with your friends. Me and all of my friends used to go to Panera and we used to have dinner and then we would study and it was just a lot of fun. And when test day comes, just remember that it's not going to be as bad as you think it is. And you're probably just stressing out too much. Just calm down. It's going to be fine. You've studied enough. What's the worst that's going to happen? You fail the test and it emotionally scars you for life? I mean, that's what therapy's for. Retail therapy, of course. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys this week. I guess I'll see you in my next video. There are a bunch of people in life who will only try to be your friend on a good day.